less than 11.8 is extreme value theorem, EVT. It states that if a function is continuous on a closed interval, then the function must have a max and a min on the interval. Because remember we've talked about a um, function that's got closed points on each side? So even if it did this, it has to have a max and a min because it could be the endpoints, it could be in the function, you know, we could have more hills and more valleys, but it's guaranteed to have a min or a max. We just don't always know what specific min or max it is. So number one says selected values of the continuous function f are shown in the table below. Function f is differentiable, so that means it's continuous, and has slopes that are negative, so we'll say decreasing, on the closed interval from three to six. Determine the validity of the following statement. The maximum value of f on um, x is between three and six is negative 10. So if I were to sketch a graph real quick, three, negative 10, five, negative 12, six, negative 14, something. <clears throat> it says the maximum value is negative 10. So really that's here. I shouldn't have <clears throat> had my line. So if it didn't have this important piece of information that the slope is always decreasing, I wouldn't know if this endpoint really is the max. I could have this function go up and back down and up and back down and have different hills in between, but because it tells me this is always decreasing and never going up any higher, yes, negative 10 must be the highest point, must be true. And then number two, selected values of the function f, which is continuous on the open interval two to five, are shown in the table below. Determine the validity of the following statement. F has a maximum value on the open interval from two to five. Let's graph two, negative seven. And this is open interval, four, one, and then five, three. Just think of something. It doesn't tell us that the slope is always increasing, um, but it says it has a maximum value on the open interval. Mm, not necessarily. Even right now, I don't have a max. Just how I grew it. I drew it. I have no hill. I can't say that this is a max because it's an open circle. So it only works if it's continuous on a closed interval, including those endpoints. So this one could be true or false. We don't know for sure that it's false. It could have something where it goes up and then down, but we just don't know for sure.